The toolbar for Autodesk Mesh Trend allows you to isolate a part, so using all the tools that you're familiar with and comfortable with inside of Inventor. And we're going to simply just go through the steps of setting up an FEA. We're going to apply materials, we're going to apply a load, we're going to run it, and we're going to take a look at the results. So remember, what's unique here is that it's a nonlinear material. Something that you can't currently do in the invention today. Next example, let's take a look at a thermal analysis. Break loader assembly. So I want to be able to do a thermal analysis. I want to take the thermal loads, I want to compute the temperatures, and then I want to take those temperatures and I want to apply them to a stress analysis and do a thermal stress. So you're looking at the temperatures, we read the results in automatically, and now you're doing a thermal stress analysis inside of the measure. Again, something that you can do. So here's a flange assembly inside of the venture. We're going to go through. We're going to set up the contact automatically so it recognizes contact automatically. We're able to put bolt loads in there automatically as well by simply just picking the holes. And then we apply a torque on the outside. So in a handful of clicks, we're looking at an assembly doing a bolted sliding contact problem inside the inventor. So these are just three of probably a couple dozen different types of simulation um, physics that you can solve now within CAD. And remember, it's powered by the Nashtrain software. So it's the same software technology that you use as a standalone user, but it's embedded directly inside the computer. 